Hey everyone, I'm Kyle Mikey from MLive.com and I'm joined by Justin Rogers. Uh, we're both appropriately attired for summertime, right Justin? There's nothing you guys can say <laughs> about this sweater that we have not said already at the facility day, I promise you. When I left my home this morning, it was 69 degrees. Still no, not appropriate <laughs> for a Christmas sweater, Kyle. I should have thought I had, I know, I know. Yeah. Um, uh, day four of training camp in the books today, Justin, uh, back here in Allen Park. Um, they had shoulder pads on today, a little bit more physical. Uh, what was your impression of what you saw from today? You know, one, one of the things I was watching is the NFL announced this week that they're going to be more heavily emphasizing illegal contact with the receivers. They're, they're really cracking down on jersey clutching yep. and, and contact beyond that five-yard uh, range that they're allowed. And we saw a lot more flags. There are officials here at camp. They're they're monitoring the plays, uh, calling penalties, and and we did see a lot more flags today. Uh, guys are going to struggle with this, particularly linebackers and safeties trying to guard these athletic tight ends. Uh, guys like Eric Ebron, so the lines are going to have an advantage in that area in places. But you know, some of the cornerbacks are going to struggle too. Darius Slay is definitely a physical guy, kind of grabby. He's going to make some plays, but he's probably going to draw his fair share of penalties this year. Yeah, Slay was the guy who stood out to me today. I saw him being pretty aggressive and drawing. Several flags. You know, he's so athletic, but but he still uses his hands quite a bit, uh, even downfield. That's something he's going to have to work on, um, or risk uh, being flagged quite a bit this year. Um, flip it around. I, I saw the the lines today, and they were a little bit more physical too, and did a lot of one on ones. And I was impressed by some guys, and some guys not as much. Uh, Adrian Waddle, you know, he's in that battle at right tackle with with Corey Hilliard. Uh, he wasn't very impressive, I thought, in the one on ones. Uh, it was especially bad, I thought, against Larry Webster, the rookie defensive end. Got blown up twice. Well, he blown up once, and then had to hold the second time to prevent a sack on that one too. Um, yeah, I talked to Waddle after the practice. He kind of downplayed it a little bit. Just said he had to. He had to, uh, he, he played placed his hand wrong on one of the one of the plays with Webster and then he said the, it wasn't a hold on the second play. You saw it, I saw it, it looked like a hold to us, but uh, be that as it may. Um, I, I was impressed by uh, Warford, Larry Warford, and I, I've been talking to some guys about him and, and you know he's just, he looks great. He went down to Arizona this offseason, worked with the Charles Bentley and um, you know his balance is just so good. That's what Dominic Raiola was, was gushing about earlier this week. Just his balance is so good. He's so physically imposing at right guard uh, and that shows in that drill. He just He's just a rock, and he's tough to get around. Yeah, before you showed up, Waddle actually gave up another sack to uh, Devin Taylor, so you're right. It wasn't yeah. a great day. Uh, the two guys I really noticed in that drill were Riley Reef, um, very solid. Uh, he went against Jason Jones twice. Uh, Jones tried to beat him on the outside with speed, and, and Riley drove him way out of the pocket. And then the second time, Jones tried to use more of a crafty veteran move, an inside swim, and uh, Riley shut that down as well. And then rookie Travis Swanson uh, looked really good. He wasn't going against any of the guys top of the depth chart, but he, he really held his own. They did give him some reps first team with both uh, the center and left guard position. There's a lot of trust there. He's working with the first team special teams unit and uh, seems to be a uh, really good showing for him early in camp. Yeah, Swanson's in that battle for the top interior uh, reserve guard, uh, along with uh, Rodney Austin. Uh, I saw Austin in there a little bit with, uh, he was aligned with the first unit doing some of that one-on-one -on -one drills. Um, later on then you saw you saw Rob Sims was back out there left guard too, so it just giving the veterans some rest, but Rodney Austin and Travis Swanson battling right now for that interior spot. Sure. Uh, that's, all, that's all we got from day four. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be back here on Friday, uh, 3.30, right? 3.30. Yep, 3.30 back here at Allen Park. Uh, for Justin Rogers, I'm Kyle Mikey. We're MLive.